Hey guys, this is Meanwhile on the other stage today with help of Sideline FM. We had this cool exclusive chance to meet and interview a dude from UK, All Wonder. We hope you enjoy it. So, this is your second time in Russia, am I right? Yes. So I think I've seen the video of you talking about that you love Russia and you were really excited to come back, is that right? Yeah. So why, why do you think Russia is so unique and what did you like about that much for the first time we visited it? I guess um, we're from London so and we've been to kind of like mainland Europe quite a lot mm -hmm. and after, like obviously Europe is incredible because you do get so many different cultures mm -hmm. but you know France Germany Italy Spain they kind of blend into one <laughs> Russia is unlike any other country it's it's really unique yeah. the language is so difficult that I don't understand yeah. any of it <laughs> it's actually um, cool, the first time we came here it was actually maybe within the first 20 gigs we've ever played. Mm. It was wow. really quickly. So, so it was really early in the career. Yeah. yeah. So for us to come, it was totally, we never played. Abroad, else, really, so yeah. We played a bit of America. And, okay. But to come somewhere like Russia, it was mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. And to see fans who knew the words to our songs. It was who didn't incredible. speak our, our language. I think that was it. Like, yeah, yeah. you play in the UK and you play in America and, mm. you, okay, cool, like everybody speaks English. And you come to Russia and people still know the words to your songs. Yeah. And it's not their native tongue. And you're like, how do you know the lyrics? That's so yes. cool. Also, we know you as a duo, like Oh Wonder, but I've noticed from watching the video from the recording process and like watching you perform live, there are more people involved. Can you, can yeah. you tell us more about that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, in the studio, so we write and record everything ourselves, okay. but we, um, because we can't play all the instruments in the world, <laughs> we use our live band um, who are George Lindsay and E. Fernandez on bass and uh, drums George and bass, Lindsay. respectively. And um, so they played on our new album, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And then they've come on tour with us, so they've been on tour with us for this year. This year? And yeah. um, Eve uh, came to Russia last time, our bassist, and he loved it. It was and amazing, actually. I it's the first time it's ever happened. Probably the first, still the only time. Yeah. There were people in the crowd with his name on like signs. Wow. It was so so we, we. He was wow. like, he's got like kids at home. He was like, sent pictures to his kids. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm big in Russia. In Russia. <laughs> it was. So, there's just the, my favorite photo of all is Eve like signing autographs at the stage <laughs> to all these fans That's who are like, cool. ah. Um, wow. Yeah. So so yeah, they're on the road with us, which is really exciting. Yeah, we try to keep our team very small because mm -hmm. uh, we don't want our art to get lost within the. You know, it's very easy to pass it on to people and they do the rest, but we like to keep everything close, close to us. Yeah. Right. I've been always wondering about the band name. Well, is there any possible connection between your middle name and the name of the band? Or is it just a coincidence? Oh, yeah, so and Wanda, Vanda and, and Wanda. Wanda. Is I've it, never like, thought have of you, that. Have you ever thought of that? I've never no. thought of that. Really? Oh, so this is just a coincidence? That's really weird. Josephine Wondergoot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> new name. Uh, no, yeah. that's a coincidence. Whoa, okay. that's blown my mind. <laughs> All right. That's why you're still with us! both had quite a history in music making maybe in that music career have you ever had something that you now maybe regret or maybe in the opposite really proud of and mm. without which um or one that would never happen or would it be that great like mm. is there anything That's a good question. like that uh i don't regret anything because i think okay. i feel that everything you do leads to where you where are you now, are where mm -hmm. you're going to be um, and you learn from things that you do wrong. Yeah, I think for me, I toured since I was maybe 16 and I played many, many, many gigs around the UK. Mm -hmm. And then I'm proud that I did that and I stuck it out for what, 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Um, because it gave me the grounding of being able to go and tour the world and appreciate it. Mm -hmm. but I think if I didn't mm -hmm. have those years of touring, playing to two people, 10 people, 100 people, whatever it is, um, I would be appreciating coming to, to Russia and playing to people here. Yeah. Mm, that's very valid. Um, yeah, similar, I think. I'm equally proud that 
that we that I started, you know, in the same vein as you, driving yeah. around the UK with my keyboard in the back of my car, uh, playing to like five people in the middle of nowhere. Um, I think I regret not taking myself seriously enough. I think, or not having the confidence mm. to um, view music as a as an oh, actual okay, career. Yeah, I think um, I do regret my 18-year-old self thinking, oh, well, I'll never make it, so I'll just go to university and study to do something else, which I did. Um, and then it wasn't until, yeah, a few year, years later that I kind of built up the confidence to be like, yeah. okay, no, music is a, is a job, I can do it. Uh, so, yeah, I regret that, but I'm here now, so it's fine. No regrets. <laughs> I know you come together, well, one of the reasons, I guess, so like one of the things that got you together was the music taste, that you have quite similar music yeah. taste. Yeah. But is there anything, are there any bands or like any music genres, maybe something that you like, you just can't get into, that the other person likes a lot? Maybe uh, someone like... It's mainly me. So I'm obsessed with like, um, like real, like proper pop music, like top 40 pop. I love 90s R&B. Yeah. Um, and I love hip hop, and Anthony's like, no. <laughs> uh, it's not that you dislike that, it, but like. Oh, no, I very much enjoy hip hop, but I just, just can't get into some pop stuff. Like, like the idea of putting Drake on and just dancing on my own in my room is my mm. idea of heaven. Mm -hmm. Whereas you're like, oh god, what are you I doing? Like <laughs> I actually wanted to know, they're connected to hip-hop actually, um, about Leo Lizabeth oh, and, yeah. him, and him sampling one of your tracks. And he actually, I think he actually performs it live as well. What do you think about that? An idea of like a completely different artist sampling one of your tracks. It's and pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I think we, neither of us like take credit or are as excited about it as we would be without our own music because we didn't do anything. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't because of us that that yeah, happened. Yeah. Like they found out, I mean we wrote the song. But yeah. like they, I guess they out. found our song and just interpolated it and put it into their yeah. own song, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty cool. It's like, like the same relationship you have when you hear a remix of mm -hmm. your own song. It's kind of like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But then it I didn't actually, make it. Yeah. But I, I really, I actually really like it. <laughs> I really like the I like Nicki Minaj. I'm obsessed with. Okay. Um, <laughs> her I, version of it's good. I she love her. Normal, and then I remember when I found out she did, um, she did like an Instagram video of like her singing it. Um, and she was like, Easy, send me the beat. And I was sitting there and I remember like, oh, I follow her on Instagram and I was just scrolling through my phone and I was like, wait, what? Nicki Minaj is listening to like me singing and she's like, so I made that beat, what? <laughs> and, uh, and that was like a really cool moment. It was very, very odd, like weird. Okay. It's one of those moments where you're like, how is this happening? Why, is, why does Nicki Minaj, why is she singing lyrics that we wrote? It's just weird. It's very cool. Crazy surreal. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any like maybe hip hop artists or any artists that you would want to collaborate? Mm -hmm. with? I'm obsessed with like The Weeknd, but like his earlier mixtapes. I think what he's done going into like mainstream pop with like Can't Feel My Face mm -hmm. is was like a smart move for him. I think he like he did that track with Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. um, what was it called? I can't remember. And uh, I think he probably tasted like what like massive commercial success yeah. was. But his early mixtapes were really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Frank Ocean would love to. Yeah, oh Frank God, Ocean is. Frank yeah. yeah, he's pretty wicked. Yeah, same. Um, <laughs> oh, don't cry, don't cry. I'm about to cry. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for coming out. Please take care of yourselves. And we cannot wait. Um, any any particular advices on maybe how to how to find your true music path for like starting a band or like I don't know oh, so since much. since you both since you both had yeah. like you know a lot of experience in that I'd say don't compare yourself to anyone because everyone's on a different path you're never gonna the person next to you who's do, having more success mm -hmm. they're on a totally different path so we can't compare mm -hmm. ourselves to. Ariana Grande or anyone like that and we can't compare ourselves to people who are smaller than us we just have to be happy with the path that you're on because it's made for you I guess isn't it it's, it's, everyone's got their customised path to take um, so don't ever be scared that you're not doing as well as other people because so, that yeah. will change your approach to how yeah. you make music 
And sure also, reinvention is a good thing, I think. Like experimenting? Yeah, experimenting, experimenting with yourself and your sound and the songs you mm. write. And I think mm. um, when something is good and something sticks, I think it's quite immediate. I think you feel it. It's mm -hmm. a feeling. Mm -hmm. When you write a really good song, you know. And I think there is no harm in writing 50 songs or releasing 50 projects and one of them you'll get a feeling and you'll be like this, I was born to, to make this song yeah. to write this song yes, this is it um, so just create 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 I would say I'm trying to learn some Russian right now really um, it's really yeah, bad it's though it's perceiver <laughs> so it's perceiver to our fans <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can't remember I'm going to save it for the gig I need to practice my yeah, accent. You yeah, you need to. I need to get into All character. Right. But thank you very much for listening to our music and supporting us and letting us come and play in Russia. Yeah, and tell we're so your excited. It's, uh, amazing. Well, thank you guys. It. Appreciate it. Thanks thank for great you. questions. Thank you. Thank you. Loving you, loving you, loving you. I cannot be loving you. Subscribe, and share, like all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> Do everything on here. <laughs> Are you English? No, I'm not. You sound very English. Yeah, a lot of people say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Are you Russian? Yeah. <laughs>